Hi guys, this is Vishal here from Rapport. So in this video, we will understand how to implement the delete functionality or the delete flow in Superbase. So here we are using Rapport as a 100% front-end builder where Rapport is building the UI, the list page, the details page, edit and create flow. And the data is coming from Superbase. So we are using Superbase as a, a backend or as a, a database. So Superbase is a like open source Firebase alternative where you can store your data and you can access the data through REST API. So we are doing an end-to-end -end integration when we are building a full-fledged web application with all different like a basic use cases on drag code. So we have already implemented an API where we have data coming from Superbase. We also have the edit flow and the details flow where uh, we can uh, see the details of an individual record. We can create new records. We can update existing records. So and all the data and everything is getting updated on the Superbase in the real time. So in Superbase, we have this collection called product which is name description price manufacturing date okay so now let's say i want to delete something so how to implement a delete flow so to implement a delete flow let's go to the rest api so each project has a rest api and this is the uh, api documentation in superbase which you can access from here in the api okay in the guide so here so we already implemented the the list flow uh, insert new record which is fine update now we want to do a delete so delete is a, a delete api call where you basically uh, need to pass some parameters so let's see how to implement this delete functionality so this is going to be straightforward we'll just go and create an external api and just bind that particular external api to an event and call the event from the delete button so let's see how that can be done so i come back to my uh, Trap code and let's implement this delete functionality. So this is a default behavior of a data table which generates some columns and create an uh, edit and delete button. So now let's implement this delete button. So let's first go and create an external API. So external APIs are basically REST APIs. So here you create a connection to a REST API and just give the functionality. So this these are the APIs which we've already created in the previous videos where we are fetching data for list of items. We are creating a new record, fetching an individual row and then updating an item so let's create an external api for delete so let's say delete product from superbase so the api type is delete okay now let's copy the url so the url is this so here it is saying that some column that on the basis of what column we want to delete so we want to delete on the basis of id so i'll say id Okay, and here we need to give some dynamic value. So to give some dynamic value, we'll come back to this in a moment. So let's first set the headers. So I'll go to headers and copy what headers it is expecting. So it is expecting API key, which is specific to my project. And since I am logged in, so it is showing me as pre-filled, which is fine. Other is the authorization value is bearer and the, the token. So that is done. Now we choose non-persisted collection item because data is coming from data table but is not persisted. Hence we choose non-persisted collection item. Otherwise we will choose collection item when it is coming from the, the trap code internal database. So I'll choose the product. Now it is asking that which particular field. So as I mentioned, we will be using the ID. So I'll give ID. Let's give a name. Uh, let's say product underscore ID, whatever, like you can give whatever name you want to give because this is just passing, getting passed from here to here. That's all. So it is a local variable. So here in track code, you give variable with double curly braces. So I'll say product ID. That's all. So I think this is the, this is complete. So here we are saying make a call and delete this particular product. And these are all the authorization headers. And this is how the dynamic data is coming. You don't want to process any response because delete do not give you anything where you want to process something. So I'll just say save setting. So my delete external API is complete. Now let's create an event where we will just call this delete API. So I'll go and create an event. I'll say add event, delete product from Superbase. And then just create what we will do after that we'll just go to external api we'll say uh, send data to external api which is basically making an external api call and saying delete product that's all on case of success i'll just display success and that's all 
after that probably we will just reload the page right because we are not redirecting anywhere we already already on this page so it makes sense to just reload that particular page that's all so my event is done now let's go and bind the event so let's go to the list page and just bind this event to this particular button which is the delete button so i'll choose the delete button go to the settings and go to event workflow event in here bind the event which is delete product from superbase so this will basically call that event that event will call uh, api to superbase delete the record and reload the page that's all and then i'll just say save and let's try it let's see it in action so here as of now we have like a lot of products uh, so what so let it load so we have these many products right so let's go and check in the super page whether all these products exist there or not so all the products are there now let's say i want to delete something let's say we let's delete this product 5 which is test so what i'll do i just hit the delete it will make a call to super page delete the product come back here and reload the page and this product 5 should not be there let's delete it so it has made a call shown the success message and redirect us to the list page you can also put a confirmation pop up whether you want to ask person whether they want to delete it or not and if on the basis of yes you can redirect so that is something which is available in event we'll see in the another video okay and let's go back to the super base and see whether the product exists or not so we have deleted the product file when you see one product is removed so this is how you implement a delete functionality in super base hope you enjoyed the video see you again in the next video bye bye